Good morning everybody, Alex here from Snake on Exotics. You've got a very rare occasion today. You've got a hungover Alex. This is extremely rare, extremely rare. So went out for my brother's birthday and my other mate's birthday at the same time. So we had a good night. Uh, but today, wow. So some people are out and about that aren't usually out and about. So I'm gonna take you over and show you them. Um, it's feeding day. So we get to go around, we get to feed all the animals. So uh, please like, subscribe, comment and share in the bell for me and I'll show you all the new animals and we'll feed them. And I shall see you in a bit. Who's out and about this morning? Hello, buddy. It looks like, I think he's out and about ready for a feed. We, we weren't, well, I'm gonna be feeding him up a little bit at the moment. Um, but normally he won't be having feeds every single week. It'll be every other week or something like that because he has a big size food item. So well, we will try him on one today because he still looks a little bit skinny. So uh, I'll be giving him another one today. And we'll see what he does. Hello, bud. Stunning snake. Just seen the uh, jungle carpet python. And as I've come past, I think the black spiny tail iguana is out for the first time. So I think if I plug this in, it should turn the lights on. Ah, uh, uh, more chameleon light, and then dragon light, iguana light. Now that looks like a tail to me. I think he's up there. Yeah, he is. He's out and about, look. Yay! Lovely job. Still hiding, and I've got to tap that light to get it to come on. But, uh, way perfect in one day. Really nice to see him out and about, so I was a bit worried that he wasn't going to settle into the tank. So of course, it's a very big tank compared to what he's been into. So, uh, we we'll do the old, uh, happy days, but, we there we go, a little tappy tappy, and it all comes on. Just slightly loose it is, just slightly loose. But, uh, there we go, that's him sorted, we'll give him a feed today. I'm not sure if he's going to eat his mouse, but we are going to offer him one. Um, we might have to change how we do it, because of course, the um, sailfin dragon, he's got his own feeding platform log. So we've got nothing over here. So um, we have to make sure he feeds and we have to pick a spot in his tank to be his feeding platform, um, especially if he's up there all the time. But uh, yeah, it should be really good. Looking forward to feeding everybody. Then, after all our jobos today, we've then got to do the axolotls. So uh, we should be, well, everyone's going to be hatched today. Because uh, anyone that haven't hatched, we've got to help them hatch. So uh, that's what we'll be doing today. So uh, we've got all our little buddies living their best life. There they all are, chilling around. Lovely, lovely, lovely. I'm also doing a little bit of plant care today. So uh, I've been slacking a little bit on all our plants and that's the last thing we need to be doing. So uh, we're taking them all individually off, soaking them in some water, giving them a good drink. So I've got this one down first. This one lives up in the, up in the roof. So we're um, giving them a good soak, giving them a good drink. And then I'll be swapping them throughout the day. But um, I could be grabbing all our food now, getting it all defrosted. And I'll start feeding all the little stuff and working our way up. Okay, so it's Pac-Man frog time. So I'm gonna grab the food, bring it over to them. What we're gonna do, we'll do strawberry first. Strawberry first. Hello sir, how are you this morning? What's this? Wow, big chompo, big chompo, lovely job. We have Mr. Green, look at that. Nice and big and chubby he is. Where's me locus, there he is. Whoop. Oh, proper grab. He's getting nice and fat now. Oh, he's doing so well. Really well. Really happy with him. Big boy time. Mr. Albino. So we can just see his head. He's completely covered the rest of him. So uh, I'll just move the moss out of the way. If he doesn't get a mouthful of moss, let's give him a feed. Buddy. What's this? Whoop. Whoa, proper. He's got the tongues. He's got the tongues. Yeah, what do we do? He's got the tongues. Let go, Mr. Frog. 
Please. Can I have the tongs? Yay. That was a proper bite, that was, mate. Blum and hell. I think somebody's hungry. Go. Cool. Now we're on to the smaller snakes now. Um, so I'm going to bring them all down. I'm going to feed them on the till. And then uh, we should be ready to go. Our first snake feed today is the phantom female raw python. So uh, I'm going to offer her a mouse. She didn't eat last time, but hopefully she'll eat this time. Hello, my lovely. What's this? Yummy mouse. It's a yummy, yummy mouse. Come on, darling. Come on. I'll check it's still warm. That's a little bit cold. Okay, so we're going for round two. Come on, darling. Let's see if we can see it. Still warm. No? Okay, we'll leave it there for her. That's a shame, thought she was going to feed. may still drop feed for us yet, but I prefer when they strike for us, really. I know they're having the food, and I haven't got to worry about having them, having uh, food go funky over the night. We'll try the rest of them, so we get on. So they've only been here a week, so they do have a little bit of wiggle room with time. Next is our little lovely corn. So, oh, she shed for us. We've got a lovely full shed. Absolutely fantastic. So we'll check that for eye caps. And then we're looking for a snake. Aha. I think I found her. She's underneath the tissue. Yes, there she is. So I'll get the pinky and see if she's hungry. What's this? The yummy mouse. Try not to shake. Look at that, I'll put it there for her, and she can eat it when she wants to. Don't want to stress her out, we'll cover her back over, and then uh, she can chill out. So in here is our lovely butter royal. So, she's already been out and about looking for food, so I'm pretty sure she can have this. Whoa, yes! Lovely job, lovely job. And this one is our female Enchi. I don't know if I'll be able to get a camera on this. Come on, darling. Are you hungry today? Come on. I've got an up. Aha! Is she actually coming? Oh! Hmm, I'll leave it there for her, see if she takes it. 
fingers crossed she will. I don't want to stress her out. So uh, we'll leave her again, we'll drop feed them again. They might feed, they seem a lot more interested than they did last time. Um, but they just still haven't struck for us. So we'll give them the benefit of the doubt, let them sit and chill, see how they get on. Now we're on to all our uh, display animals. In here we have our little hog nose. So she's just been buried and digging in the substrate. So we've opened the door. Hello, my lovely. Hello, what's this? What has Alex got for you? Is it a yummy mouse? Has Alex got you a yummy mouse? Oh, it's yummy. Is it cold? Yes. A nice warm mouse. That got you looking a bit more, didn't it? Oh, come on then. I'm okay. Could her tongue bend in towards it? Oh, there she is. Oh, yay! Good girl. Look at that. Dinner time. There we go. So I'm going to slowly let go. There we go. So she'll readjust now. She'll get to the head and then she'll inhale the whole thing in one go. There we go. What a good girl. Full snake time. Let's see if he's hungry. Whoa, that didn't mess about, did you? Not at all. Dragging it away. And it's spotted by from time and we know she's a good feeder, so we have upgraded her stuff, so she's on a hopper, which is next up from Fuzzy. So uh, she should in wolf this down, she should. Whoa, let's get it out. Lovely, lovely. Whoa! You missed! There you go. On to the spiny tail, no, spiky tail monitor, I believe. Come on, little buddy, look what I got. Woohoo! You can just see him down there. How can I adjust this? That's better. Come on, little dude, see if we can see him. There he is, come on, buddy, look. Wake up. Come on. Come on. Come on, there he is, you can see his face. Come on. It's mousy time. Come on. Oh, well, I'll leave it there for him. And when he's hungry, he can come and get it. Oh, it's Savannah monitor time, so... Oh, here we go. I'll set you up. And I'll run and get the, the mice. She ain't seen you yet. She seen you. I'm a coming, darling. I'm a coming. Oh, give me a sec. I dropped a mouse. I know. Well, calm down, darling. Calm down. I'm coming. Let go, then. Let go. You bit it. It's not food. It's the target. Well, that took your time. Does the screwdriver taste better? Is that what it is? Touch the screwdriver. There you go. You only got to touch it. Whoa. Right, munch it up then. Don't rub it in the sand. There we go. Took it down. There's a good girl. Yummy, yummy. Mice is in the tummy. Who's my good girl? Yes, but you're not biting me today. Sorry. No biters, no biters. 
here we have the European eyed lizard and I'm going to offer him a little mouse whoa <laughs> he smashed that bumming out that was like four seconds we're on the Enchi Lesser Blaze so last week he actually struck for us for the first time ever so I'll be surprised if he did it again but you never know hey buddy you interested? Ah, we'll put it there for him and he'll eat it in a bit Dalfin Dragon time so we set up his little mouse so he's got a wrap put this time come on Ed, have you come He's off. I've got another one. If you run off, you won't be able to have this. He was nearly finished eating. He inhaled that quite quick. Another one. Mm -hmm. I don't know where he's looking. Come on, Ed. Come on, Kenny. Come on, Kenny, then. Get it. I think he looks so cool. Don't you, buddy? You're my little beast, don't you? You're my little beast. This, can you see yourself? What are you doing? That's you. Look at you. Look how exquisite. Look at them pecos. Oh, look at them pecos. Pure power. Pure, look at them, big, massive pecos, full of, I oh, know, I touched it, oh, I'm sorry. What about it? There's a good lad. Oh, sorted. Now, now, well, now, we're on to the beast. The biggest creature in the shop. So, I've got him a big ratto. Oh, so, he has been out and about today. Uh... Oh, but no, he's decided to go inside the log. Oh, having him last, he's gone right in the log, because I think, yes, yeah, so we might have to lure him out or just put it in there for him to drop feed again. Okay, so I believe the snake is in here. Yeah, look, what's this? Where's your head at? Is your head going to come this way? Come on, where's your head at? Where's your head at? Oh, there's a head. Okay, okay. Ooh. Whoa, blooming now. Look at the teeth. Look at the teeth. Oh my God, look at the teeth. Oh, she dragged it away. We didn't get much of a chance. But if you pause it when she hit, blooming now the teeth on it. That was a proper doof. Oh, I'm happy with that. Oh, that was a feed. <laughs> now nah, that's a bit of a drilling in hit. Go cool. Bang! First time she struck for us as well. Teeth. God, the teeth. Oh, they've got to have been that long. They've got to have been that long. Lorman. Heck. Whew, that's fun. That's fun. So, that's everybody fed. Oh, I forgot one. Black spiny tailed iguana. I don't think he's going to have it because he's been a bit of a sulk. But we are going to do, we have to frost one for him. Um, put it in there and see if he wants to eat it. Just realise if we're nice and quiet, we should be able to watch it.
So there is a myth that snakes will dislocate their jaw, but all snakes, um, that's a myth that is, their jaw is naturally separated with ligaments. So in really they have two se three separate bones. They've got the top jaw and then they've got a, a left right jaw, bottom jaw, sorry, a left side of the bottom jaw and a right side of the bottom jaw, which they can both move independently from one another. And it's all done by ligaments and stuff like that. So there's no dislocation or anything like that. What a stunning snake. I'm just gonna get some poo out while I'm here and then I'll let you carry on watching that. What I'll do is I'll time lapse the rest for you, if I can. Oh, she's doing it. Look at that animal, man. So what she does, she moves her, moves her top jaw move more onto the mouse then she'll move the one side of her jaw like that then she'll move the other side and then she's moved further down into the mouse each time she does that she gets more and more of the mouse in her mouth and you see her sliding more over it each time absolutely stunning what a lovely creature so i believe she's got a hot good head in her mouth now I think she's fighting because it's underneath her she's weighing it down so she's fighting with herself at the moment trying to get it to come from underneath her there she goes she's working out it's underneath her now I think she's blocked us off from viewing it really can't see much anymore. There we go, the iguana didn't feed, he weren't even interested in nothing, he was at the bottom so I've just thought I'd leave him to it. He has been out and about today which is good. Um, so now we're back to the axolotls. So we've got to get the rest of them all out today, I'm going to be getting everybody out of their eggs today. So we're going to find out exactly how many we've got. Um, I believe our little disabled one looks like he's passed away. And I did notice there was one in there that was born with no gills yesterday. So he's most likely passed away as well. So if we can find him, we'll take him out. And then um, we can find out how many we've got all together. Okie dokie then. So here's our big tub of axolotls. Oh, looks like I'm all swimming around like no one's business. Oh, doing really well. So we give them a once over, make sure we haven't let any pass away and stuff like that. And there is a couple of egg sacks in there I want to get out. Um, so I'll get all them out and then uh, we can count the rest of these, release them into here, see how many we've got all together. What's one of the main jobs we've got to do today is we've got to open some of the eggs. So what I'll be doing is I'll be just using a pair of scissors and just cutting the egg. So uh, I'll try and get it set up so I can show you when I do it. Um, but a lot of it now is just me going to be pouring a lot of the eggs out. So there's one there. 
he's already come out the egg so we ain't going to worry about that i can just pour him straight in so we're going to collect them all into tubs to your right that's another one born without gills so uh i'll go through them all see how many we can get and then we can carry on from there okay so in here we have some axolotls still in the eggs oh we have to move just a little bit okay so you can see that one there is still in the egg sack so what we do is we do nice and gentle and slow so we go either side of the bubble and we wait for them to stop moving and then we slowly slowly close the scissors so I've got the scissors have now closed on the bubble, so I've pinched a bit of the bubble. See the bubble comes with me now. So if I lift this up, that then cuts it. And see, there he goes. So that's what we're going to do. So we've got another one here. Again, nice and slow, because we don't want to catch the axolotl. I don't like that, it's a bit too close. So I'm going to readjust, try again. See, I've got it, it's moving around, and we can pr bring it up, and that cuts it. There we go, and that's another extra lot out. I think that's. I know this one needs to be cut. I think that's everybody out. So uh, we'll carry on put them all into the big tub so I've got another tub here full of all loose ones we'll count them as we add them in and then we can find out our grand total we have our grand total in here we have 57 extra babies so 57 plus 220 is 277 so not too shabby 277 happily swimming along baby axles well 75 275 because we had that one but the disabled one passed i don't know we didn't count that one we did count the other one though so we're on 276. there we go everybody in I bet you're wondering, Alex, what's the next plan with the axolotls? Well, 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 tomorrow is first feed. So we're going to try them on some chopped up bloodworm. Then, um, well, actually, I think what we'll do first, we're going we're gonna to start segmenting them all off. So we're probably going to be putting them in groups of 25. If that makes it, if I can do that, that makes eight. 11 boxes I got that so we can do that so 25 in a tub and then we can go from there split them off and then eventually once they start growing their front legs that's when everybody's got to be separated so that's gonna be a bit of a pain in the bum that is but I have planned it all out already I've got uh, Narinda next doors ordering me stuff to put them all in so uh, that should be all set but the main thing is tomorrow we've got to feed them and separate them off into groups of 25 so I think we've done really, really well to get this many, well, everyone that was in the eggs that was developing hatched. All the eggs that uh, weren't developed were no good. So um, I think we did well out of the 406, did I say? I can't remember, 400, no, 426. We've got 275, which is, I think, is pretty damn good. Okay then everybody, that's all I've got time for today. So please like, subscribe, comment and share, ring the bell for me if you haven't already. If you want to support me, the animals, the rescues, the YouTube and all that, you can join the, the membership, become part of the tribe, help support me and everything. Uh, if you want to see where I get my animals from, there's also a link in the description below. Um, so please like, uh, if you want to watch another video, there should be one there. If you want to subscribe to the channel, it's up there. And if you want to watch a playlist, it's up there. So I'll see you in the future. Bye.